What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan Battle video and today we're showcasing the brand new freshly awakened STR pan here on Global. And believe it or not, this pan is no joke. She is an incredible, incredible tank. And I was thinking, what's the best way for us to show off this pan's tanking ability? And of course the logical conclusion was Super Battle Road. So today in this video, we're jumping into the Hybrid Saiyans Super Battle Road stage. And I was lucky enough to pick up a Rainbow Ultimate Gohan friend. So I feel pretty good about our chances here. Let's jump in. Now I wanna be clear though, that there is no guarantee, no guarantee that we're actually gonna clear this stage because you know with Super Battle Road, there's so many different factors like, you know, your rotations, how many times you get supered. I might get supered like five times here and just die in the first turn. Hopefully it doesn't happen, but it could happen, right? I'm just trying to make excuses for myself just in case I die, you guys know. But <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna try to make it as far as possible and uh, do my best. And hopefully along the way, you guys will get to see how incredible this new pan is and maybe invest in her a little bit. I don't really know, it's up to you, but let's jump in. We're gonna attack Borgos here. And uh, usually what I like to do is pop a Whis in the beginning just to be safe, so we're gonna do that. We do have Pan on the third rotation, which is very unfortunate, but we'll be okay, we'll be okay. So we're attacking Borgos. Um, I wanna save those actually for the LR trunks. So we're gonna give him these orbs here. And uh, let's attack Tora here with the LR trunks. A lot of, yep, a lot of physical orbs. And let's attack Shugesh with the ultimate Gohan. Uh, he doesn't need that many orbs. It feels like kind of a waste. Uh, let's give him these. Yeah, let's give him these. All right. So first turn is off to a good start. Um, I have already beaten the Hybrid Saiyan Super Battle Road stage, but you know, I only beat it every like other time that I try because you know, oftentimes I'll get super a lot or have bad rotations or something else crazy happens. Super Battle Road, there's no, there's no limits. There's no rules. You know, anything can happen. But what I usually like to do, generally speaking, just a little tip for people that maybe are struggling a little bit, I do like to go for type advantage as much as possible. So, you know, if you're doing like, if you're doing uh, the type Super Battle Road, so not the category ones, then obviously you just go from right to left because that's least HP to most HP. But for this, when there's all different types, you generally want to go for type advantage if you can. Okay, so we got super for 87k, which is not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, we got B-Pan here. We're gonna put her at the end. She does have a chance to get really high damage reduction, but she's kind of inconsistent. And I really put her here because I want her to link up with the STR pan. So we're gonna put her over there. Um, this is a good setup. This is a good setup. Okay, so let's keep attacking. Uh, let's keep attacking Shugesh here. And then we're gonna kill Borgos most likely with the Mighty Mask. And then uh, Pan can maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe stun somebody. Uh, let's try it. Actually, actually she's, she can't even super here. Okay, so let's just keep attacking Shugesh. I don't really know. She's not gonna super, so. Uh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Okay, 58 damage. Okay, I can, I can live with that. I can live with that. 82k, I can also live with that 82k super. Uh, you guys know he's rainbowed, right? So. Um, he's gonna be a little bit better than your average Ultimate Gohan, but still, I don't love Ultimate Gohan's card design. His links aren't the best either. Um, and like, we do have good STR Ultimate Gohan, no, not STR, just Ultimate Gohans in general in this game. But I feel like it's time that Dokkan and Bandai really gave Ultimate Gohan like a really, really good all around card. Cause like every Ultimate Gohan we've gone so far has some kind of issue. One way or another, a lot of times it's it's key links. Um, but man, I just feel like we need a really, really good, maybe like an LR Ultimate Gohan, maybe a transforming Gohan, you know, from like base Gohan to Ultimate Gohan. I don't really know, just an idea I wanna throw out there, but I feel like Gohan deserves more love. Okay, so what should we do here? Uh, let us put, yo, look at Pan's defense already, guys. 82,000 already. Okay, we're gonna put her in the, let's put her in the middle and we can attack could finish off Shugesh here probably. You know what? I'm gonna attack. Yeah, let's let's attack. No, let's go for Tora. Let's go for Tora. Screw it. I feel like Pan alone can finish Shugesh. I'm putting my bets on the Pan here. Don't let me down, girl. Let's go. And uh, maybe we can finish off Tora here. And you know what? Let me pop something. Let's pop a Princess Snake. Let's pop a Princess Snake. Okay. Oh man, I get so nervous for these runs, guys. Even though I've already beaten all 20 of them, I still get nervous every time I do Super Battle Road because you never know what's gonna happen. 
Okay, Tor is still not dead. I was hoping for a crit. But I think we can actually kill the Shugesh here. There we go. Crit, Shugesh is dead. And we're tanking normals for 94 damage or dodge. She either dodges or she tanks incredibly well. So let me tell you guys actually what Pan does, because just in case you don't know. Her leader skill is tech and SDR types keep plus 3. HP, attack, and defense plus 60%. Her super attack causes supreme damage and raises her defense by 30% for six turns so basically for six turns her super keeps stacking her defense over and over and over again until it reaches some crazy amount she just becomes an absolute fortress an absolute uh brick wall steel wall diamond wall whatever you want to call it she she just tanks extremely well after a couple supers you guys will see in just a second all right we're doing okay though we're doing okay um ooh, let's put the friend here for sure he's it's way better than my ultimate gohan and I'm scared we're going to get supered, but I don't want to use another item because we already did. So I'm going to leave it as is. Uh, pray for the best, I guess. Let's go for Bardock. Let's go for Bardock. Okay. So we take those. Um, we can get the Ultra Super off with them. So we'll give them those. And we can get the Super off with my Ultimate Gohan too. So there we go. Ooh, okay, and her passive, Pan's passive, is chance of evading enemy super plus 15% per turn up to 60%. So after four turns, she actually has a maximum of 60% chance to dodge an attack. And she also gets an attack of 70% and defense of 120% for seven turns from the start of the turn. So that's her passive. And her links are all in the family, the same lineage, Battlefield Diva, GT, The Innocence, Kamehameha, and Shattering the Limit. So... Not the best links, but also not bad links. Quite a few good key links in there, which means she can get her super off quite often. And of course, she's not really known for her damage. Um, she's not going to be impressing anybody with her damage, but it's actually not terrible. It's like it's like decent damage. And uh, of course, for what she can do really well, which is the tanking and the dodging, she does incredibly well. There are actually a few units that do it as well as she does. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, so as you can see, we got the B pan and the pan together. Um, and Pan's defense already went to uh, went up to 122,000, which is higher than the trunks, the LR AGL trunks here. Um, so I'll put her in the. Mm, I, I want to put her at the end, but I don't want to take her out of rotation, so I'm gonna put her in the beginning, I guess. Okay, let's do that, and hopefully we can take out Bardock this turn. Fingers crossed. Or if not, then at least stun him. At least stun him. But yeah, th this Pan, after getting one super off, already has higher defense. Then the LR, the tr AGL LR Trunks, who is known for his tanking. So that tells you something. That tells you something. Oh, no crit. Okay. Oh, we got the dodge off, which is good. So she either dodges or tanks. So either way, it's good, right? Because you're taking less damage. If you guys have been struggling with this stage or any other stage, you can potentially use her on a team with. Um, definitely, you know, consider investing a little bit in this Trunks. Sorry, not Trunks. There's so many Trunks on this team. <laughs> on the pan. Invest in the pan a little bit. Give her a few orbs. Maybe get her SA10. You can raise her super attack with those SR pans that are super common. Um, and it'll be worth it. You won't regret it because she's just so freaking good, guys. She is so freaking good. I'm actually going to put uh, the trunks and the mighty mask together because, uh, yeah, LR trunks actually tanks a little bit better. So I'm going to put her, put him there. Um, we should finish off Bardock here. Should finish off Bardock. I hope so. I really hope so. All right. Don't super me, please. Oh, my God. As soon as I said that. Oh, my God. Don't do too much damage. Under 48k. Okay. Okay. We're still alive. We're still alive. And Bardock should die. So the rest of the attacks, from what I saw, was only Bardock. So please die, Bardock. Okay. Dar Bardock's dead. Perfect. And uh, we should put a dent in... <laughs> I forgot her name. What's her name again? <laughs> what's, the, what's the girl in Bardock's team called the oh my god oh i'm blanking i'm blanking um i want to say give me a sec I'll, okay, I'll get it in a second i'll get it in a second guys <laughs> but you know it doesn't matter it doesn't matter we're here to see the pan i don't even need to use an item here because i know she's gonna tank incredibly well her, her defense already went up to 185,000. 185,000. if it's a normal attack which it should be she should eat this for about 50 damage i'll say about 50 damage all right um, what's her name again? Ooh, uh, 33. 33 damage. Doesn't matter what her name is. She's about to die. That's all that matters. She's about to die. Maybe not this turn. 
but definitely the next turn. Definitely the next turn. And we got the stun off. Nice. Uh, okay, I'm still thinking. Uh, Fasha! Fasha! Oh my god. Yo, you know what? A normal person, someone else, might have cut that part out of the showcase. But I'm not doing that, because I'm real with you guys. I want you guys to see all my struggles and see that I'm human too. <laughs> so, that's Fasha. I totally forgot her name. Uh, but now we remembered, so it's all good. It's all good. Ah, okay, so we should put the trunks to tank, probably. This trunks, rather than the other trunks. Um, yeah, that's okay. We're not going to die if we get supered. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to be a little bit more conservative on this turn with my items. Oh, she's actually, no, she's stunned. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? I forgot she was stunned. So we're good. Okay, she's dead. She's dead. Um, last but not least, guys, <laughs> TR pans are categories are Hybrid Saiyans and Dragon Ball Seekers. So only two categories at the moment. Of course, you guys will notice that there is no Peppy Gals for our categories. Should she be in Peppy Gals? Should she not? It's a very controversial debate, right? It's a very controversial debate. I still don't really know the answer myself. Um, not really sure where I fall on that in that debate right now, but I feel like just based off of the fact that she awakens from the Rebrian event medals and all the other Peppy Gals do as well, that should put her in the category. And also, if you think about it, you know, they, they can say, oh, you know, she actually is not in the category because, let's say, um, it's only for, you know, girls above a certain age or something. She's too young for that category, right? Well, it doesn't make sense because Bula is pretty much the same age as her. So if that was a was a thing, then, you know, she should still be in that category. So then, what's the issue? I don't really know. Why is Pan not in Peppy Gals? I understand why the little Pan, like the really young Pan is not. But any other Pan in this game not being in that category just doesn't really make any sense to me. And maybe one of these days we'll get through to Bandai and they'll make a change. Uh, but for the time being, I don't really know why. I don't really know why. I feel like she should be. I think she would actually make a huge, like a great addition to that team. Just make the team even stronger than it already is. But I don't make the decisions, man. So if you guys know somebody over at Bandai that makes those decisions, maybe hit them up. Be like, yo, what's going on? Okay, 53k. That's not bad. That's actually not bad considering we don't have... And we do have one Aider active, which gives a 50% defense boost, but it's not like a damage reduction kind of thing, right? So it's not nearly as effective as like a Whis. And uh, eating that super for 53k, I can actually live with that. And she didn't even get that many supers off yet. She got one super off, so she increased her defense by 30% one time. But if she had done it a few more times, that super might have been 10k, might have been 1,000. Ah, <sighs> she's wild. She's wild. Oh my god, this card is so good. Okay. Um, we're gonna attack Vegeta here. Actually, who, who tanks better here? Uh, oh, wow, look at Trunks' defense, 223k. Okay, so we're gonna leave Trunks there. <laughs> we're gonna leave Trunks there, and he is gonna tank this attack very, very well. And LR Trunks can get a few orbs, unfortunately not do that much damage, because... Ooh, Dokkan attack. Okay, awesome, awesome. And uh, we will attack... I guess we'll attack Raditz. Oh, can we get a super? We can get a super. Nice. And hopefully, uh, get a crit maybe or something. Okay, how much can we eat this for? 61k? Not bad. Not bad. But as you saw, yo, freaking Pan. Pan actually ate a super for even less damage. <sighs> okay, let me focus. Let me focus. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Always feels good in these showcases when I can actually get all seven. <sighs> I mean, there's not much else to, see, to say. We'll see and say about the pan. Uh, you guys can tell she just absolutely owns Super Battle Road. Oh, Super Battle Road is what she was made for. And if you guys have never run this pan before in the past, she was just collecting dust in her box. I mean, let's be real. You never really had a chance to run her or really an opportunity or... Uh... No, that's not even the word I'm looking for. The, w the word I'm looking for is you never had a reason. Never had a reason to run her, right? In the past, she was not that good. Before the Awakening, she was just like this random unfeatured card that you got and you were very upset about it because you're like yo i could have gotten anything else but this crap but now she's actually very very valuable guys um let me see two attacks in the middle three attacks in the front so i'm gonna leave the sdr pan not the b1 in the front um yeah this is fine this is fine okay no items we're gonna we're not gonna use an item right now i'm just gonna 
actually, should I use a... No, we're not going to use that. No, okay, no, no, no. So I was going to use an item, but I'm like, you know what, though? I, I won't be able to showcase her tankiness if I use an item. So we're going to leave the Whis for now. Hopefully, it won't come back to bite me. We don't get, like, super three times and die. Okay, normal attack, 111 damage. 11 damage. Do you need to see any more? Do you need to see any more? 366k and 128k. Okay, okay, that wasn't too good. That was not too good. I wish you would have tanked that super for, for less damage. But you know what? The normal attacks did no damage. I still stand by that Pan is a beast. And we stunned the Vegeta. So this is actually a very good run. I feel like the game knows that I'm trying to showcase this team right now and also making a video. And the, the game doesn't want me to embarrass myself. Because I've done that in the past, man. I've done that in the past. So I'm glad it's going well right now. Uh, we're still going to put Trunks in the front here. LR trunks. I mean, I mean AGL. There's so many trunks on this team. Oh my god. There's like a trunks here and the LR trunks, uh, the AGL one. There's the physical LR trunks. There's the trunks and Goten, and then we have two pans. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, okay, so we'll leave it as is. We'll leave it as is. I'm gonna give him one orb here just so he can get his, get his ultra super, and Vegeta should actually be dead on this turn. Vegeta should die on this turn. Keyword should. But if not, then we can finish him off with the ultimate Gohan. And I think we're we're doing okay, guys. We're doing okay. Still, 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 you never you should never be comfortable. You should never be comfortable in Super Battle Road because as soon as you get comfortable in Super Battle Road, that's when you get supered a million times and you die. So I'm actually taking a risk here by not using any items. But I feel good. We got an additional off. We got the crit on the first super. We get another crit here. We got another crit. Excellent. This is a good run. It's a good ass run. And Pan is putting in work too. I want to see how much defense she has here. How much defense does Pan have here? 185k. It's about to go higher though. It's about to go quite a bit higher. Um, we might be able to finish off uh, Nappa on this turn. But if not, then I think Ultimate Gohan can still tank quite well. So I'm not too worried overall. Okay, so Pan, do a little work. Do like, I don't know, 200k damage, maybe three, 200k, okay, okay, that's okay. Tank normal for 36. Tank a, uh, oh, nope, she dodged it. <laughs> she dodged it. <laughs> we didn't have to tank that super because I think it's been four turns. She should have a 60% chance to dodge now. So we were good there, we're good there. She's like ultra instinct Pan, man. She's like dodging everything left and right, okay. And Nappa's dead. Nappa's dead. Oh, such a good team. This team overall is just extremely, extremely tanky. Um, I'm always struggling with who I should put up here. Like, uh, between the AGLR trunks and the Goten and trunks. But I think I want to keep... I want to keep the two trunkses together. So I'm going to actually... Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to do that. Actually, but then we can't get the super off with LR. We can't get the super off anyways, I guess. Ooh, I don't want him in the middle. Okay, you know what? <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this because I don't I don't want the AGL trunks trying to tank that uh, Napa attack. So we're gonna put the uh, physical one in the middle, and then Mighty Mask will be at the end just to deal a little bit of extra damage in case Napa doesn't die. But I think Napa's dead after the physical LR trunk super. He should be. He should be. Come on. Give me a crit. Give me a, give me a crit. Oh, you're dead. Okay, Nappa's dead. There we go. And we have so many items still. We have so many items still. This could be my best uh, Hybrid Saiyans run. It actually could be. Because I remember when I beat Hybrid Saiyans the first time, it was a struggle. It was a struggle. We used so many items. And look, 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 look right now. Look right now. We still have five items left. So I'm actually going to... And we have so many STR units on this team too. This is fantastic. Um... I'm actually going to pop the Whis just because this pan hasn't gone a super off yet and she doesn't have any dodge at the moment because it's, it's the first turn. So we're going to do this just be safe. And uh, you always want to be, you know, it's always better safe than sorry, right? It's always better safe than sorry. And even though I did beat this stage, I still need to beat um, like stages overall 20 times. Oh, I thought she didn't have dodge anymore. Maybe she does. Okay, anyways. Uh, although she gets 15% on the first turn. So she has 15% right now. My bad. So... I still need to beat the category stages 20 times overall. So adding this win to my total will be worth something. So I'm still gonna try to beat this. Even though I'm doing it for a showcase, I'm still gonna try my best to, to win, right, if I can. 
Uh, actually, I probably should be attacking the Paragus. But you know what? We already, we already committed. It's fine. We're, we're, okay, we've, we've committed. We're going to attack Broly first. It's too late to go back. It's too late. And... Uh, ooh. Yeah, this is okay. This is okay. Can we get physical orbs for the Fizz? No, we can't. Okay, that's okay. So we're going to give this guy as many of the AGL as possible. Get his super... Actually, ultra super off. Oh, yes. Okay, yes. And then... No super from Gohan, no super from Gohan. But we do have the Whis active, so I don't think it's going to take that much damage. Um, fingers crossed, I guess. This Broly has so much HP, guys. There's only two of them, and you guys might be like, Oh, it should be easy, right? It should be easy stage because we only have Broly and Paragus, but they have like 10 times the HP of everybody else on the previous two stages. Whew. At least we're tanking extremely well. At least we're tanking really, really well. Uh, and Pan is about to put in some work on the next rotation, too. I'm so glad they actually made her usable, man. Like, in the past, pulling her was just such a pain. And now you're like, yo, I'm actually not up that upset about pulling this Pan because she's such an insane tank. She's such an insane tank. She is... Did I, did I already say this? I don't even know. She's a wall, man. She's an absolute wall. Uh, could be the best tank on this team, to be honest. Could be the best tank in this team after a couple turns. So we're gonna put it in the front. I, I don't even feel like using an item. I don't think we need to. Uh, we're not going to. You know what? I've, I've, I've decided we're not going to. <laughs> Is it gonna come back and bite me in the ass? Maybe. Maybe. But you know what? Sometimes that's the risk you have to take with Super Battle Road. Sometimes that's the risk you have to take. Pan, don't let me down. Don't let me down. 11 damage. 85. Just insane. <laughs> I don't say that word a lot. I say that word a lot. I should stop it, actually. I should probably just, like, pull it with the insane. But she's dodging. She's Ultra Instinct Pan. We, we got Ultra Instinct Pan. And if she's not dodging, she's taking double-digit damage on Super Battle Road against the last stage with physical Broly, guys. And we got the stun off. Yo, the other Pan's putting in work, too. Yo, B-Pan is doing good stuff for us as well. And I can't wait for her to get the LR Awakening, guys. Anybody who is curious about when that's happening, it's probably going to be the four-year anniversary, which is when JP got it. I don't really see them changing that. So four-year anniversary for B-Pan to get an LR, it's about four months away at this point. Which, you know, seems like a bit of a long time, but it's actually not too bad. So we're going to use our Nurse Chi-Chi because why not? Why not? We have extra items. <laughs> we have extra items. I'm going to use them. And uh, we're going to keep attacking... Broly. We're gonna keep attacking Broly. We already committed and we already got him down to about half health. So we're just gonna keep we're gonna, we're gonna try to kill him as soon as possible. And then once we only have Paragus, it's only one guy attacking. We should be fine. Yeah. Actually, I realized Broly's already stunned, so maybe I didn't need to use that nurse Chi Chi item. But it's okay. It's okay. We have a lot of extra items. <laughs> Watch like in a couple of turns. I'm like, why did I use that nurse Chi Chi so early? And then I die. That'll be a very sad way to end this, but we, you know, I already feel good about this run because we already made it so freaking far, guys. I already made it so far. And we got the additional off with the friend Rainbow Ultimate Gohan. Can we get a crit? Yo, give me a crit. Come on, man. Come on, you can crit. All right. All right. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, okay. Oh, my God. So many attacks at the end. Um, I don't know how much I trust my Gohan. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about those attacks, man. That's a, that's a lot of freaking attacks. But then it is Ultimate Gohan. He's, he's, he's a good tank. All right, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Because what I'm going to use, the Princess Snake, that's such a waste of healing, right? So I'm going to leave it like this and pray that we don't get supered multiple times. 93 damage. 37. Maybe we can stun Broly again with the B-Pan. That would be ideal. Uh, dodge right there. 74. <laughs> Pan. Oh, man. Pan. What else do I have to say? There's nothing left to say about this Pan, guys. Just enjoy. Just enjoy this Pan putting in work. She, she's incredible. She, she's actually incredible. Um, we're probably due for a super here. Right about... Wow, we, we didn't get supered. Um, okay. Hey, if they don't want to super me, I, I, I will take that. Hey, I will take that for sure. 
Mighty Mask at the end. Uh, oh, there's uh, quite a few attacks, but I mean, there's attacks everywhere, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, I will use a Princess Snake here. Or should I not? Maybe I shouldn't. I'm not really sure what I should do right now. I'm gonna use a Princess Snake. I, I, I wanna win this rat around. I don't wanna, just in case, man. We're, we're due for a super, that's the thing, right? Because we haven't been supered in a while. So, we're probably gonna get super at least twice this turn. So, just be safe. We're gonna use the Princess Snake. I think we'll still be okay. I don't think it would, it would be a waste by any means. Okay, we got a super right there. 50k-ish. 190, damn. Yo, even with the Princess Snake active, even with AGL LR Trunks, we're still getting supered for over 100k. Paragus, come on. Oh, man. Good thing we have the Aider. We still have the Aider available. So, we can heal up pretty much the full one more time. And I think Broly's gonna die this turn. Broly's dead this turn. Okay. <laughs> we're fine. We're absolutely fine. Whew. No, it had me nervous for a second. For a second, I was like, ooh, maybe I shouldn't have used that Nurse Chi Chi from earlier, but it's not hurting me right now. It's really not. Paragus has way less HP also than Broly, so we're pretty much set. We're pretty much set. I'm gonna put the pan in the, in the front. Um, I guess give her one orb. I'm gonna heal with the Aider as well. Because I have, I have an abundance of Aiders. I'm not really too concerned about that either. And uh, there we go, guys. There we go. The match is about to end real soon. We got another dodge from Ultra Instinct Pan. <laughs> and uh, even if it did hit, that would have done maybe, maybe at most 50 damage. So it doesn't really matter. It's like when you get that transformation with uh, Tapion. He transforms into Harunagarn and he gets the dodges off. You're like, you can dodge, sure. Like, why does it matter though, right? Because either way, you're not taking damage. That's pretty much Pan right now. She might as well be transformed Harutagarn with how how hard she tanks, man. Taking 50 damage and not taking damage is pretty much the same thing. <laughs> and next turn, I think Pericus is dead. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed my run. Uh, this was pretty much the best Super Battle Road run, at least for Hybrid Saiyans, that I've ever had. And I gotta say, it's in big part thanks to the SDR fan, because she's just incredible, man. She's just such a good tank. She uh, puts in a lot of work with the dodges too. She does a little bit of damage. I mean, it does, it does help. It does chip away at the HP but of like the enemies. But I mean, even if, she, even if she did zero damage, I might still put her on my team just because of how much damage she can reduce for you, how, how well she can keep you um, alive, I guess. And uh, that's a showcase. That's a showcase. Pan is the queen of Super Battle Road. All right, Pan is the queen of Super Battle Road. The physical Broly might be like the new king of Super Battle Road, which is what I've heard. I don't really know. I never pulled him, so I didn't use him in Super Battle Road. But a lot of people are telling me physical Broly is the new king of Super Battle Road, mainly because he. Oh, that's a really long run. Holy crap, 27 minutes. But um, he's the king because he just gets a super off so often, and he does a lot of damage. But if he's the king of Super Battle Road, STR Pan right here is the queen of Super Battle Road. Man, she owns Super Battle Road, no question. If you guys haven't used her yet, test her out. Try her out and see what you think. But that's gonna do it for the showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's it. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.